Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jacqueline and I love to make lifestyle content about almost anything and everything in my life that I love. I do vlogs, some sit down videos. So if you're new, be sure to stick around. Today we're doing one of my favorite videos to film every single year and it is the Christmas gift guide. This year I have hundreds of gifts. We're gonna do rapid fire. I feel like I did hours of research over things that I already have and love or things that I would want. As always, anything I talk about in this video will be linked down below. I have a variety of price ranges from very expensive gifts slash splurges to $5 stocking stuffers and everything in between. I'm posting this video a little bit early because I wanted you guys to be able to make your lists in time for Black Friday. If you guys want to keep up with my daily life, you can be sure to follow my Instagram. I'll put it right over here. Since I have hundreds of gifts, I want to go through this pretty quickly. I'll go through the general categories I have and then we'll get started. I have decor and home, accessories, tech, some journaling things, some games, beauty, makeup slash face, body, jewelry, clothes, shoes. It's a lot. I used to do a stocking stuffers category, but I've just kind of thrown things within each category. And I want to start with decor and home. The very first thing on my list is this adorable little candle light. I would love one of these in my home. I feel like it's just super cozy. And then pair a candle with it, and you're good to go. I have to say it, the Stanley is a must, but specifically the 30 ounce, not the large one. This small one is amazing. It still has the handle, but it's much smaller, and I have never been a water girly. I've been dehydrated my entire life. My body is grateful. Someone gave this to me as a gift, and my body has never been better. I highly, highly recommend getting this as a gift for somebody, because I was the girl that like didn't want to buy one. Not just because everybody else had one, but also just because they're kind of expensive, which makes it a really great gift. The next thing that is on my list this year is these anthropology glasses. They have so many kinds, and I'm always eyeing them, but I specifically love these right here. I think they are so cute. Along the lines of of glassware. These glasses, they're technically beer can glasses. I've used them for years and years. I love them. You can get them off Amazon or Crate and Barrel. To go with the glasses, really cute glass straws I think are adorable and a great gift if you know someone that really loves cute little drinks. And then additionally, these ribbed glass mugs are so cute. As a coffee girl, I love drinking out of those. Along the mug line, the Ember Mug is a must. If you have a girl that loves hot drinks but is constantly reheating them, aka me, the Ember Mug is great because it keeps your drink hot and at whatever temperature you prefer as long as you want until it's done. I'm currently living with my parents right now while we're waiting for our house to be finished. So it is currently in storage and I miss that thing. I reheated my coffee twice today and that's pretty good for me. Sometimes I go for a fourth time. So having an Ember Mug is a great gift. Now, if you know someone who's a hosting girly, anything anthropology hosting is amazing. My favorite things are from there. They have these beautiful cheese knives. They have great serving spoons, cute little mini plates, literally anything from anthropology, I'm sure she'll love it. Another great gift idea is any sort of diffuser. There's tons of cute different styles and that's fun because you get them a diffuser and some scents to go with it. Similar to the diffuser is the Pura Scent diffuser. I don't really know what it's specifically called, but it's a wall plug-in and you can buy so many different scents. I think that's a really great gift. It's something I've always been eyeing and I love that they have the volcano scent, which I've never met somebody that doesn't like that scent. So that's always a great go-to. Speaking of that, you can get the volcano candles at Anthropology. They have so many beautiful kinds. They always make a good gift. If I'm just looking for a solid Christmas gift, that's my go-to. Anthropology always has 40% off their candles around this time of year, so I usually stock up. I have to say it, I have to say it. This is a very expensive gift, but the Breville espresso machine is... My favorite thing I own, hands down. I'm such a big coffee girl and it's gotten to the point where I prefer my coffee at home than going out to Starbucks or whatever. I still love a local coffee shop. If you wanna splurge on your loved one, that's definitely a great option. If you know someone that loves coffee but that's not in your price range because I get it, it's insanely expensive. The Nespresso coffee machine is great. I owned that before this and I loved it. It comes with a milk frother and the espresso machine and it is a great gift if you have someone in your life who loves coffee or going out to get coffee. Last thing in the home section is a Barefoot Dreams blanket. Truly 
the best blankets around. I cannot recommend them enough. And Nordstrom Rack usually has a great deal on them. Moving on to accessories. So first, the Lululemon belt bag. This bag essentially holds my life in that little tiny thing. It is great. I pretty much use it as a wallet at this point. I can just strap it around myself and if I'm carrying a bigger bag, I just stick it in the bag and that's where all of my necessities are. It's great for traveling and just everyday use. Even if somebody has it, honestly, they probably want another color. <laughs> So you can either get them the Sherpa one or just a new fun color if they just have like a basic black one or something. I know I would really love that. Also, another thing that I've seen a lot of people talk about is the Lululemon keychain and wallet. It's super convenient, especially if you're in college. I loved having a keychain wallet and that one's really cute. Next up is a Yankees hat. They're just so cute. My husband is a huge Yankees fan, so it works out for me, but people see that as a very stylish thing as well. Another thing that I've been eyeing is they make super cute vintage Yankee hats, which I think I'd really love as well. It's like a little bit more stylish. I am obsessed with the Madewell beanie. They're adorable. I wear them all the time and I get questions about it all the time, and I think that would make a great gift. Next up in this category is bags. A quality purse is a must. My Madewell purses, I love especially this tote bag. Next up is a quality traveling set of bags. So I recently just got the Monos traveling bags. I have their weekend bag and their Metro bag. The weekend bag is much larger and is great for a weekend trip. It's got a place underneath for your shoes, hair tools, whatever you need. They're both amazing for traveling. They go over your suitcase handle and they have so many convenient pockets. And then the smaller version is great for your personal item. While traveling, we are going to Europe in 2024 and I am so excited to bring that with me. Next category is tech. A great gift is some quality headphones. If someone you know doesn't have the Apple AirPods, they're the best thing ever, truly. I love them so much. I have the pros, I just got those, and I love them better than the originals that I had. Next up is an iPad, definitely a splurge. I have been using my iPad non-stop. I use it every single day for cooking, having recipes up, or just watching a show while I'm cooking. I use it for work, and I used it in school a ton. Definitely a splurge, but you can find some really good deals around the holidays. This is something I've been wanting for a really long time, and it is the Polaroid printer. So you can take photos from your phone and then print it onto a Polaroid. I have a regular Polaroid and then like the square Polaroid, but sometimes it's difficult to like bring with me, so I really love the idea of being able to take any photo I take on my phone and turn it into a Polaroid. So I think that would be a great gift. Next up is a record player and some records. If someone loves music, they would probably love to have a record player. It just creates such a different vibe. I love my record player. I say this one every single year, but I stand by it every single year and it is a speaker. Everybody needs a speaker in their life. Seriously, it is so fun. It's so nice to be able to have a quality speaker. I love the Bose speakers specifically. We have two and we love them so much. Similar to that, we also have the Apple HomePod, which is also a speaker. While I'm cooking, I say, hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Sorry if I just set off your Siri. Or I ask her the weather and she can connect right to my Apple Music. So if I have a playlist, I'll say, hey Siri, play my cleaning playlist. And it is just amazing. I love having the Apple HomePod. Similar to that is the Apple TV. Guys, I love our Apple TV. Again, it seamlessly connects. So we have Apple Music, so being able to play our Apple Music, we can screencast super easily. And I just like it since we have all Apple products, it seamlessly connects everything. Okay, next up is a Kindle. Last year for Christmas, I got a Kindle and I love it. It's such a great gift. I'm a big book girly. I still love my physical books and sometimes I'll buy a physical book, but I also love having the option of a Kindle for whenever we're traveling, for easy reading at night, and I also use Kindle Unlimited, which is $10 a month, and I get access to a whole book of libraries, so I can also read any of those books. Or if you know someone that has a Kindle, maybe getting them an unlimited subscription for a year would be really nice. To go with the Kindle, I highly recommend a pop socket. It has made reading on my Kindle so much easier. I can lay on my side at night and just like hold on to the pop socket and it makes it super easy for reading. I love it. Next up is a film camera. I have always wanted a real film camera. It also makes super cheap options. This one from Target went viral last year or you could even get somebody a disposable film camera. Those are also great options and would make a great stocking stuffer. 
Next up is a hatch alarm clock. These things are amazing and they have so many great features to them. I can't speak about them enough. They just came out with this new color and it's beautiful and stunning. I love it. Last but not least is a personalized phone case. Case Defy does really pretty personalized phone cases. That's a really sweet and thoughtful idea. I made a category for my journaling girlies. So I have a cute journal. There are so many adorable journals. I just love to stroll through the Target section. They have great journals there. TJ Maxx does too. My favorite highlighters, I'll have them linked down below. They look like this. They're aesthetically pleasing. You can get them off Amazon. I promise this is not sponsored. I just have a code with them. If you want to use the code Jacqueline Brooke, that will get you 10% off. If someone in your life loves to read the Bible, these are specific made for your Bible. Obviously you can use them anywhere else, but it's really nice that they don't bleed through the page or anything like that. Another great gift if you know someone is either in school or just loves like doodling or journaling or taking notes while reading. These sticky notes are so cute. They're like see-through. They make really cute ones. If she's just a stationary girl, I promise she'll love these. Okay, last thing in this category is a Barnes and Noble gift card and a Starbucks gift card in a book would be an amazing gift. She's a reader. She probably loves to stroll through Barnes and Noble. I go all the time just for fun. I might get a book or I might just be there strolling and usually Barnes and Nobles have a Starbucks inside. So that's like a really thoughtful gift and it lets them get whatever they want. Okay, next category is games. If you have a girl that loves to host, loves game nights, AKA me, these are my game recommendations. First one is a game called For the Girls. This is a really fun game. My second one, I actually just bought, I haven't played, but it's called New Phone Who Dis. It's similar to like apples to apples, I think. It seems really fun. A super easy game that's so cheap and a great stocking stuffer would be Monopoly Deal. A game that I think is so great for a large group of people or a really good icebreaker game if you don't know each other very well is called Think and Sync. It's a super fun, easy game. And anytime we have people over for dinner for the first time, we typically play this game. And every time somebody comes over and we play with them, they say, where can I get this game? It was so fun. So I highly recommend that as a gift. So the next category is beauty. And then I've got a ton of subcategories. So we'll start with hair. I've got to say it, the Dyson Airwrap is such a great gift. Again, another insanely large splurge. I did my hair with it today. It is so versatile. It has everything you need all in one. I think it's proven that it is worth the investment. But if you're looking for a better option, the Shark is also a great alternative. I also have the Shark and I really love it. They just came out with a ton of new colors and new attachments. So if you know somebody wants the Dyson, but that's not in your price range, the Shark would be a great dupe. Okay, next item is also a splurge, but it is going viral right now. And I can personally attest it is amazing and a game changer for your hair and it's the K18 leave-in hair mask. It is very expensive. My aunt who's a hairstylist first used this on me and I was like, oh my goodness, I need that product. I could feel the difference in my hair and I bought it myself. It's definitely expensive, but I feel like most girls really like to invest in their hair. I know I do, so that would make a great gift. Similar is the Olaplex number no. three. This is also an amazing product that I have used for four years now. I love it. I truly do not go without it in my routine. It's definitely a little bit more budget friendly, but it's still expensive. <laughs> Another thing is hair rollers. I love my hair rollers. I, if they have the Dyson, the hair rollers would probably be great. If they want the blowout look, hair rollers are a must. Next thing is claw clips, big, small, cute, plain, we want them all, okay? These would be great stocking stuffers and just really good gifts. Similarly is the Teleties. The little spiral hair ties are amazing. They don't leave creases and they're really good for your hair. And then last but not least is bows. Okay, I'm so excited about this trend. Bows are very in right now. So I'll have some of my favorites linked down below and on the screen here. You can get some great ones from Target, Free People, so many more. And I think they are just so adorable. All right, next up is makeup slash face. <laughs> so first up is Drunk Elephant Anything. I'm obsessed with their skincare. I specifically love the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. The Debronzy Drops are a must. Everybody loves those. And then the eye cream is also really, really great. But even their kits to give to people to try out are amazing. Next up is the Rode Beauty Lip Peptide Treatment. I would love to get my hands on this. Since it's come out, I've wanted to try it. So I think that'd make a great gift. You know I gotta say it, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. At this point, I have five of them. I have one in my nightstand, one in my bathroom, one in my purse, one in my car. 
I use it every single day. I can't go without it. I always put it on morning, night, and I put it over top my lipstick. It looks like lip gloss and my lips are always in pristine condition. A great brow product is the Milk Brow Lamination. This stuff is amazing. I have been obsessed with it. Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer, Merit Flesh Balm, love it. Merit Lip Oil, obsessed. And then any lash serum. I think a lash serum would make a great gift. I used to use it and my lashes were like beautifully long and I just started using it again. Another great stocking stuffer would be the Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. We all get acne. It would be very useful. I love those. Okay, last two things are big gifts but would be great for anybody, and that is a facial or a massage. You can never have too many of those. Next category is body. We all love the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's a great lotion. Similarly, the Hair Mist that smells the same is Amazing. I want to try the red one. I've never smelled that and I'm curious what that one's like, but I love the orange one. I recommended this last year. I'm going to recommend it again. And it is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Perfume. This is the best everyday perfume. I get compliments all the time. Or you can go to Sephora or Ulta and get the kits that have the trial size ones with a gift card to buy a full size of one of those products that would make a great gift. And that way they can choose which perfume they want. The last thing in this category is a Barefoot Dreams robe is all I have to say. The best ever. I'm obsessed with mine. Okay, next up is jewelry. I didn't know if I should put this in the tech category or the jewelry category. It is the Aura Ring. It is very, very expensive, but I think it would make a great gift. If you have a girl that loves working out, taking care of her health, or is just really interested in keeping track of steps, body temperature, whatever it is, heart rate, this ring does it all. So essentially does what in my head the Apple Watch does in a ring. It's something I've been keeping my eye on. I'm a dainty jewelry girl, so that's the only thing that I don't know if I'd love it because it is pretty thick, but thick jewelry is very in right now. Next up is the Pandora engraved necklace. This is a great idea. I think this would be great for mom, wife, girlfriend, whatever. You can go to Pandora and like write something on the thing and then they will engrave it on the necklace. And I think that would make a really great gift, especially for a mom to have like all the kids sign their initials or something like that, or for your wife, you personally draw a heart or something would be so sweet. It's a very thoughtful and sentimental gift. It's the E. Newton bracelet. I'm the kind of girl that doesn't want to take my jewelry off. So if I get jewelry, I want it to be like not gonna get tarnished in the shower or whatever. And I never take my rings off and I'd love to get a necklace and some bracelets that I never have to take off. And this style is very, very cute. If you're looking for jewelry, Kendra Scott is always a great brand. All right, next up is clothes. And we're starting off strong with my favorite set of all time. And it's the Aloe Muse set. They come in separate pieces. So it's the Muse sweatpants and the Muse hoodie. I'm obsessed. I have it in the gravel color. I wear it literally once or twice a week. I'm not even kidding. It is held up. I've had it for two years. I love it. I'd love to get another color. I've been eyeing the navy and it says it's limited and I love the gray and the white color as well. It's definitely a splurge but I'm here to say it's worth it. Another great item that I love is the Free People jacket. It is so warm. We went to Wyoming when it was freezing cold outside and that over top of my sweaters, I was good to go and warm as could be. I didn't even grab my down jacket once. Another great gift would be any graphic sweatshirt. Abercrombie has a ton of great ones. I know Urban Outfitters does too. Something like this would be very cute. I'll link some specific ones down below. I say this every year, Lululemon Align Leggings you can never have too many pairs. They are amazing, so comfortable. The quality is unmatched. Anything Skims, I have not tried Skims and I would love to. I'd love to try their underwear, their bras, literally anything. Their shirts, their comfy clothes, it all looks amazing. People rave about it and I think that would make an amazing gift. Now it's a little harder because you gotta know their sizes, but you can ask somebody really close to them that would know. Last up for clothes are the viral pajamas. I can't remember exactly where they're from, but they're so cute. They have little fruits all over them. I'll have those linked down below. It's just really nice to have a matching pajama set. And for some reason, that's something I won't buy for myself, but I would love. We're almost done. We're going through. Next category is shoes. I have tons of shoe recommendations. First up is Uggs, a variety of Uggs. We got the Ugg Ultra Minis. I'm obsessed. The Tasmanian Uggs are adorable. They even make a little Sherpa kind that have been very in. So if you can get your hands on those, 
New Balances are very in. They make these really cute gray pair. I saw somebody with these green pair and I was like, that's adorable. I even saw a brown pair and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with all of these colors. It's perfect athleisure shoes. You can dress them up or down. This fall, I got the Boston Birkenstocks and I literally wear them every single day. I'm obsessed, I love them. I feel like most girls really love that look, so that would make a great gift. I've been wanting the Veja sneakers for about a year now. I did a lot of research. I've heard they're very comfortable and not only that, they're very cute. I have Air Force Ones, but I feel like I'm just teetering the like age to where I'm trying to look too young, but I want something that looks a little bit more sophisticated, but I still want to wear sneakers. And I think the Veja sneakers are perfect for that. If you have someone in your life that's kind of like, you know, an outdoorsy girly, the Blundstone boots are amazing. They are so comfortable, great for hiking, everyday wear, or just like getting outside. I love them. They're waterproof, weatherproof, really four-wheel drive. They've got everything. I specifically love the dress boot because I think you can dress them up a little bit more. They have a square toe and they're really cute. Would it be Christmas if you didn't ask for socks? It's a great stocking stuffer. My favorite socks of all time are the Puma socks that you can get at Costco. They're the best. I love the no-show ones and the hidden ones. Another pair of socks that I love and would make a great gift are the Madewell Cloud Socks. They are so soft. I definitely want to get them for everybody in my life because they are the best. So Black Friday, I'm probably going to get a couple because I want all the girls in my life to know how amazing they are. Last up is subscriptions. I think this is a really sweet and thoughtful gift that keeps on giving. So if you buy somebody a six month subscription or a one year subscription to whatever they would like. So if they're coffee girly, I know they make coffee bean subscriptions. So every month you get a few different bags of coffee from different places that you probably would have never tried. And it's a great way to try out new beans. Beans. or if someone in your life loves tea they also have tea subscriptions so if you can just pinpoint what they tend to really like and then find a subscription for it I think that's a really thoughtful gift okay that is it for the wish list wow that was a lot I'll have everything linked down below per usual you can follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with my daily life I'll also post all my favorite Black Friday deals over there. I really hoped this video was helpful for you. Comment down below if I missed anything or what your favorite gift was and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!